Just gonna go over some stuff for getting a rabbit ready for the show. Number one, first thing you wanna do is flip your rabbit over and make sure the judges aren't gonna get ripped up. So you just, this is how I trim a nail. Uh, you might want two people to help, especially if you haven't done it very much. I am able to do it this way, but you definitely don't want them to lose control while you're doing this. Otherwise, you might clip a blood vein. Yeah, not a big deal. Uh, it's just gonna get a little messy for a second. But it's best to get the tips of those nails cut off. And if you've got a white rabbit, you can see the blood vein real easily. But if you shine a light through the nail, you'll be able to see where the blood vein comes up in even in a dark nail. Um, but the best part is just to clip just the top tips off of them. Those are the things that snag, they get into the judge's clothes, scratch the skin, and can get caught in the carriers when they've got those fine little points on them. They can get caught in a carrier and rip a toenail out, which is bad for the rabbit and showing the rabbit, because sometimes they don't grow back, right? These are things you want to check when you're getting ready to go to the show. The judge will thank you for it. There we go. Again, never hurts to check their teeth while you got them flipped over, in case they messed them up in between the times. I mean, some of us haven't shown for months, some haven't shown for over a year. So when you get your rabbit ready, you just want to make sure. Everything's still normal. Uh, one of the things I always check is around their tails. And again, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the slicker brush. So I use a comb like this. Just the slicker brush pulls out too much of the undercoat. That's good for uh, the Angora breeds and stuff like that, but even they won't use it. A lot of them won't use a lot of it. It's just to fluff up their coats get some of the webbing out of the undercoat. But I just simply turn it over and clean up their little mold spots. Boom. Voila. And anytime you see little tufts of hair, you can just pull them out. Again, I try to do this outside or, I mean, my barn, it really doesn't matter. It's already got plenty of molting rabbits in it. But you don't, uh, it's just best to do it outside. Uh, if you can, because then you don't have to worry about it. The birds like the fur, like the nest. Although this time of year is not a big deal. Um, to groom, I just wet my hands with water. Sit there and pull the fur towards you. Get screened and it'll just pull out all the dead hair in it. Again, you might have to do this. You want to start this before the day of the show. You're going to do this. He's thinking that this is crazy. But, um, that's all you mainly have to do when you're getting a rabbit ready to show. Now, I have another rabbit that is in a bad molt that I wish I could have showed. Both these rabbits, I mean, that one I just had out was in a horrible molt at convention time. It just took two weeks. Sometimes it's pretty fast. As you can see, the molt is coming down from the shoulders on this rabbit, and it's down to about here. Uh, maybe another two weeks, it'll all the way be down to his hip. But some of the things you can do to help move it along is simply do that with thing with the water, pull it out. But if you see dead fur, you can just simply sit there and pull the dead fur out, like so. I've known people, I mean, I, I can't imagine shaving the rabbit, but I do know people that do, just because they don't want molt multi rabbits in their barn or whatever and it can come back that way too but the best way is just to sit there and pull the dead out sit there watch a show you know on your phone or listen to music talk to someone and sit in a chair and just sit there and go around and pull out the dead hair it'll eventually come back it'll come back actually faster with this breed actually a lot of times i even uh when they're babies and they're it's a rabbit that I know I want to keep because they can go through some pretty ugly stages. I actually pull out their baby fur on their head. The adult fur comes back in faster after you sit there and get rid of the dead hair. So if you want to get it back on the show table, that's the best way to do it. Again, don't rip it out. If the hair doesn't want to come out with a gentle tug, then it's not ready to come out. But the faster you get that dead hair out, the better the, the faster the new hair will come in. 
All right.